Beast. This is Watch from Wandsworth Media. Back at you for another round. And um, I was at work and a co-worker was asking, why is it that Tom Brady at age 40, 41, won a Super Bowl? He had success, yet we have Aaron Rodgers at the same age and he's playing the worst football of his career. Well, the answer to that simply is Tom Brady is a one-on-one. -on -one. You know, Tom Brady, Mayweather, Jordan, these guys are one-on-one. -on -one. Like, you're only going to get one of these guys a lifetime. However, when you look at the signs behind, it's more than that. It's more than just oh, it's Brady. It's what makes Brady. Why? Brady and what makes Brady is the fact that Tom Brady lives eats breathes football it's all football Tom Brady's father was on an interview on ESPN radio and they asked his father about Tom Brady during the offseason and Tom Brady's father said man he's maniacal he's obsessed with football while other quarterbacks and players, i.e. Aaron Rodgers, do not like to go to OTAs or training camps, Tom Brady's the first person there. He's the first person at OTAs. He's the first person at mandatory meetings. He is the first because he gets a rush. He gets a thrill about it being that time of the year again, about it being football season. You know, training camp in the summer, OTA, seeing the guys again. That type of stuff, Tom Brady gets a natural high from. When in the case of Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is too good for He's too good for OTAs. The Jets had a mandatory meeting. What did he do? He said, oh, he, wanted to, he always wanted to go to Egypt. So he went to Egypt. This is a millionaire, right? This ain't like you and I who are bound like the vast majority of our year confined to work. This is a millionaire, multi-millionaire. He can go on a vacation whenever he wants. Why did he designate specifically to go to Egypt on the same exact time that the Jets mandatory meetings were happening. It's an act of defiance. That's who he is. He's bigger than football. He's bigger. He knows more than the coaching staff. He knows he's bigger than everybody. And football is just secondary because he leans on his natural ability. And natural, when it comes to natural ability, Aaron Rodgers was better than Tom Brady. Natural ability. Like, I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the most skilled quarterbacks I've ever seen in my life, if not the most skilled. But what he lacks is the drive, the discipline, the commitment that Tom Brady has. Tom Brady has that drive, that commitment. Tom Brady's not taking trips to Egypt during mandatory off-season meetings. He's not doing that. Tom Brady's the first one in the building going through, you know, going through plays, going through whatever with his coaching staff, with his players. Tom Brady leads by example because he, you, this is stuff you can't fake. He loves football. He gets a natural high from training. And not only that, but the way he incorporates his lifestyle, again, he lives, breathes, eats football. The guy eats avocado ice cream. Avocado ice cream. Like, he is very careful. He was very careful what he put into his body, what he ate, what he drank. He was very, very careful. And that's why his body was able to perform at an optimal level. But the execution on the field is, it comes down to Wanting it more. Aaron Rodgers is 
worried about hosting Jeopardy and taking trips to Egypt. Football secondary. For, for Tom Brady, football was primary. That's the big difference. At 40, 41 years old, if you think you're going to win a championship, you better give it your all. Take a, a millionaire taking a trip to Egypt because he always wanted to go to Egypt. Why you ain't go to none of them off seasons? Why you didn't go after the mandatory meetings? But he decides to go when the Jets are having a mandatory meeting because it's an act of defiance. He's bigger than football. He knows more than everybody over there at that at Florham Park. He knows more than everybody. That's why you get these results because he doesn't commit. He didn't commit the way that Tom Brady committed. And that's the difference between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady, 40 years old at quarterback, and the difference between the New York Jets with Aaron Rodgers, 40 years old at quarterback. One quarterback, Tom Brady, dedicated his life to football on and off the field. The other guy, 60 minutes whenever he's on the field. And it yields the results it's supposed to. One, Tom Brady won a Super Bowl. The other, Aaron Rodgers, is an embarrassment and practically being chased out of New York. He's practically begging for his job. Oh, I would love to come back next year. <laughs> I'm wise for wise words, maybe it is.